Hey YouTube, this is Roy. Today is Wednesday. It's a snap on Wednesday, so Jesse's here. There's his phone number on the door if you guys need to place an order. And we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna see if he's got the April the April snap on flyer. We'll let the wife go in first, so um so let's see what kind of goodies he's got. Hey Roy, hey, hey Maria. How you guys doing? Oh, keeping you busy. Viejita, you notice Jesse's not wearing a jacket and it's cold out there. I got the heat on. <laughs> it I is know cold. it's nice and toasty in here. It was actually uh, snowing on me earlier today. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I'm going to be sick again next week. It's coming. Yeah, I was like, man, he was just getting, getting better. I was hoping anyway. I'm tired of being cold, guys. Mm -hmm. yeah. But um, yeah, uh, I told the wife. I said, "Well, last week was in the 70s, and today's in the 40s." Yeah, it's it's like sad. wow. And I heard it's supposed to snow again Friday or Saturday. Mm -hmm. <sighs> In Kentucky, if you don't like the weather, just hang around. It will change. It'll, it'll change. Yeah. Uh, Jesse, do you know it? Like, is it supposed to rain like tomorrow or Friday? I don't check the weather too much, Roy. I know it's supposed mm -hmm. to snow showers or, or snow flurries at one point. But I don't really like being disappointed, so I try not to check the weather, to be honest with you. Yeah, I, I don't watch it that much either. <laughs> yeah, if it's really cold, I don't like being cold, guys. I don't like getting rained on. So, I, I know. I was like, I, we need to get a break from all these sweaters and jackets. Yeah, it makes me want to move to the desert. Mm -hmm. Arizona. <laughs> Arizona, New Mexico. Someplace warm and dry. It was, it was, yeah, that's true. Like today, just to have a customer from Texas. So he brings me his big white dually. It's a stick shift. Mm -hmm. So and and he's got um, kind of like what you have here, but it's for his hat. So yeah. he puts his hat in the. It was pretty. I thought it was pretty cool. Oh, that's neat, man. Mm -hmm. And uh, he says I'll I'll pick it up Friday, so we get to keep it for a day or so. Um, I noticed when I walked in, Jesse, that's a beautiful fridge. Is that um is that for like a customer or if if you buy the, the no, box? what I'm doing with it, if you buy a Solus Plus, I'll give you a refrigerator. Mm -hmm. And I got yeah. a couple other things. It's just one of the promo items I got. So hey, okay. Um, I know that uh, I think V is going to get the Solus. Okay. Uh, he took off to the auction today, but um, uh, he uh, I, I told him, I said, well, he's got them in stock. Yeah, and if he wants me to swing by on Friday, I pass by here, so just have him all aware of me. Okay. It's no big deal. That's nice. I know and Wednesday's auction night, so. He, uh, yeah. Uh, I wanted to ask you, Jesse, we really love the, the lights that you gave us, the, the, the new model that came out. And then one of the viewers on his comments, um, I forget his name, but he, he asked me to ask you if, um, if you thought maybe they were waterproof. I don't have a clue on that one. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know they got a one year warranty where you can do whatever to them and we send them in, you're going to get them fixed. So if you so, buy a pair, try it within the first year and let me know. Uh, I'm thinking that it, it, to a certain extent, I'm sure that if it's a light mist, but not where you're soaked and drenched in water. I, well, there's a difference between waterproof and water resistant. Mm -hmm. Like for me, if it's raining or something, I think you're fine with them. If you submerge them, I mean, they're probably not going to work. And the reason I say that is they do have open ports on them for the charger. Mm -hmm. It's got an open port for the charger. It's going to get water somewhere, or it could just rust the charge ports out. That's true. I mean, I, it, uh, but maybe the little thing has a suction. I I don't know. I mean, try them. Let me know. I, I'm curious. Uh, I, I mean, I know as long as in the first year, we will fix them. Mm -hmm. I, I know that Snap On Bihita. I think on one of their lamps, it was that little maybe like this one. Mm -hmm. I think they. Uh, they made a commercial where they actually drop it and it lands in the bucket of water. And I don't know. I've never seen that before. I, I don't. But I think it's on this model only. For me, I don't recommend dropping any electronic in water. <laughs> in the but water. If you're doing the hose up, let me know. I got some customers that submerge some stuff in transmission fluid. And actually, a couple of them lights up there, they've dropped in transmission fluid. And they, they survived. Yeah, for a little bit. I mean, they burned up eventually, but it could be the age of the light, or it could be, I mean, 
this kind of liquid and electricity don't normally mix good <laughs> so i just i don't try <laughs> this kind of cut my ivy heat though because it's uh it's orange so for the guys that have the orange toolboxes snap on makes a light to uh for their for the color their color choice yep that's cool and the yeah. fridge is really really cool so so just so what new items do you have maybe for the month of uh april this week i mean one of the big sellers i got some small plier sets in and i got one left with the vacuum grips on them which vacuums pretty much a gr metal grip and it's got little ridges on it. you probably can't see it through the package but it's got our mini slip nose and or slip joint needle nose and two air pairs of pliers they also come with the red handles on, so whichever you prefer. So those are uh, Snap-on, that's a new item? Yes. Wow. Uh, both of these are. And as I said, this one, it's got the, our regular grips on. This one has more of the vacuum style. If you look right here, you can actually see the ridges on it. Oh, yeah. I know I'm saying the package too well said so not, but I... Then this month, the plier rocks are on sale, which I had those a couple weeks ago. The snap ring pliers are on promo this month. I forgot to tell the viewers last week, Jesse, when I grabbed this, this this is metal and it's really, really soft. It's like, a, it's almost like it's dipped. It has a dipped rubber Kind of how they dip the uh, pliers. And I hope they do them in a couple other colors besides red. I mean, a, a green one, mm -hmm. I've had some guys ask me about them. Also bought a bunch of these lights. This is one of my favorite lights we sell. It has a magnet right here on it. It has a hook. It also has a cooling fan on the back so it gets you hot. hot. Wow, it's the nice housing and won't bright. Be hot. And you hold the button, it'll dim down. That's really. This is one of my favorite lights we sell. Those are good for the for the ladies too, Jesse. Because like uh, you know, when when you're home trying to lock the door or something, that's nice and bright and it fits right oh, in your yeah. jacket. I just like it because a lot of cars you know have aluminum panels now. So like if you're working on a hood, you can at least tie the hook around the hood latch. Or mm -hmm. you know, if you're working on a boat where there's not a lot of metal, you have more than one option. You just don't have to magnetize the light. This is new too. I don't think we saw this last week. Yeah, it's beautiful. Candy apple with the rhino top, and this one even has the light, too. Yep, a liner top. Yeah. Then... Jesse, this is new? What? Oh, this light up here? Uh -huh. It, it yeah. looks different, or maybe because it's a different it's a, color. It's a bigger light. I didn't just think took this out of the package yet. I had one opened earlier, and I sold it, so I'm... Um... Well, let's open up and see what we can do with here. Well, that's a cool looking lamp. Yeah. This is magnetic, it does have a handle oh, wow. on the back. Uh, so this is uh this is more of a more of a spotlight. Yeah, and the runtime on this one's really good. It's two and a half hours on high, nineteen hours on low. Super cool. It is it does take our removable batteries in it, so you won't be able to turn it on until I put the batteries in it. That's kind of cool too, because I guess that way they don't you avoid scratching the the lens. And there's where the batteries go in it. Interesting. Drop in batteries. It's a nice little light. Mm -hmm. And then, so Jesse, this this only runs on battery, so you would have to charge. It has the, our rechargeable batteries in it, Roy. So uh -huh. the, those batteries fit several different lights and several other things. But, um, I like how it's got this handle too. We also make a removable charge bank for it so you can charge three batteries at the same time. Mm hmm. But, yeah. 
fit several different things, and they're pretty good design. A lot of our lights are going that now. Uh, and the theory behind that is it's cheaper to buy multiple batteries and multiple lights. I like how these, uh, like the aluminums, like that has like that military green. Mm -hmm. I notice it's kind of neat how they're doing two colors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then still got some sockets on sale. I got the new water hose nozzles. It's our new fireman one. And I just got the snap on logo here. This is black kit. Do you, can you see that, Rihita, for the viewers? Beautiful. And we got a bunch of spring removal tools in. Oh, those okay. are for, like, the guys that are doing drum brakes. Yeah, drums. Yeah. Or I saw a lot of them for motorcycle exhaust and stuff. Uh, motorcycles. Uh, the guys that do, um, like, the little springs, like, on carburetors, I guess. Ah. Uh. These are pretty cool. I guess anything's got a spring it would work mm -hmm. for. Mm -hmm. Some of the seats in the old uh, in the old cars, they had a, when you retract the seat, uh -huh. they had a, that would be good for that. Yep, right for the seat track. Mm -hmm. And uh, this, the, the speaker, the wife still uses her. She really likes it. Oh, they work good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jesse, what is that? Um, Is that your, the, the, that's the, um, does this come with new pieces? What? The ball joint press? No, it's the same one. Okay. Because I, I had a Honda kit I stuck up there. I saw this this on the top and I didn't know if that was like additional new it's pieces. It's add-ons. Mm-hmm. And that's that's pretty nice too. That's like a complete set of um uh for somebody that does like upholstery for trim tool. Yeah. It's a plastic scraper kit. That's actually a dent fix tool. It doesn't look like plastic. It, I thought it was metal. It, no, it's it, plastic. It, yeah. It's super nice. Yeah. And it's got, a, you see, he's got all the sizes and pieces and trim nice. tool. Like, for example, this piece here, you don't have that in your arsenal. See, like when you have to go, like. This is made by Snap-on, Jesse? No, it's Dent Fix. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I guess this is a this is like a new backpack. Oh, or this that's is my stuff, Roy. Really. Yeah, I was gonna yeah, say that's different. Yeah, I got a bunch of car parts down there and service maintenance stuff for the truck I had to pick up today, and mm -hmm. bunch of bunch of my garbage. <laughs> okay. Uh, Jesse, um, I heard uh, from the viewers something about oh this this right here. Uh, I wanted to show them really quick. A lot of guys bought these. Um, yeah. The uh, I guess they use them for like uh, the electrical disconnect bars. Mm -hmm. But I've heard a lot of a lot of good news, and um, and it was cool that you could get it on the Snap-on truck. Yep. Mm -hmm. And normally we're from my heart, I'm. Quite a bit cheaper than other trucks. And then there's the part number right there. And they're made by Lyle. Yep, they've been a great seller. Hard for me to keep them in stock. Mm -hmm. But see, if you guys need them, you can get them from Jesse. So, um, yeah, that's... Uh, I, I, it, by looking at the reviews on YouTube and stuff, I heard that a lot of guys bought those. Yep, and for the price of them, like, it's really hard to beat them. Mm-hmm. But folks, thank you for watching. We would like to thank Jesse for letting us film on the truck. And if you guys notice, he is feeling a lot better. Yep, not it, dying this week. It's just the crazy weather here in Kentucky. It's, yep. you know, it's like freezing. It started ice storming outside is what it sounded like. <laughs> yeah. So, um, but we thank you and, um, and we'll see you guys next Wednesday. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jesse. You're welcome.